All right, all right. I'm sure y'all know what this is. Uh, this is the Sig MCX <sighs> hybrid. I hate it. Well, I don't hate it. Uh, I was pissed when I got it because I was, I guess I didn't pay attention to what I was buying uh, when I saw it online. I uh, I saw it, you know, Sig MCX, blah, 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 5.56 five, hybrid. And I just wasn't paying attention to the hybrid part. Um, so when I got in the mail, it took about two weeks or something like that, or I forgot how it went down. But it, it took a while, I don't know why, you know, I called my, called my FFL guy, he ordered it for me, and uh, you know, opened up the box, opened up the box in his living room because he does it out of his house. But yeah, he opened up the box in his living room and I'm like immediately disappointed. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I'm, I'm looking at him like, you, you ordered the wrong shit, homeboy. Like, but it's what it was. Uh, I got back on, I got back on the website or whatever. And, uh, the hybrid part, I saw that and I was like, well, hybrid usually means, you know, when you put two things together and you make, you know, a hybrid, you know, uh, usually two of the opposites, you know, uh, wolf, dog, tiger, lion, you know, hybrids, you know, and you come out with, you know, something special, I guess. But, uh, yeah, this pissed me off. It didn't matter how to me how special it was, but, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, see this adapter right here. Yeah, that's the adapter that goes on to the regular AR-15 lower. Uh, we're safe. Um, yeah, so this adapter goes on to a regular AR-15 lower. Uh, I guess that's where it gets its name from. Hybrid, because uh, the SIG MCX upper is its own thing. And you're putting it on a regular AR-15 lower. Um, I mean, eventually I got over it. I got over it and uh, started to like it. Now I love it, really, to tell you the truth. I mean, the stock. The stock. I was a little disappointed at first when I got the stock because uh, this piece right here is screwed on. Uh, screwed onto the stock. Uh, and I was like, why would they do that? Why wouldn't they just make it out of one solid piece? I mean, it's on there pretty tight, you know. Uh, I'm not gonna go throw it on the concrete and shit like that and tell you how reliable, you know, I think it is or isn't. Uh, all I can tell you is that, you know, it's pretty solid. That noise you're hearing is the upper and lower. Uh, it's got a little bit of little bit of wobble in it, not too much. It doesn't. It doesn't have. It doesn't have a whole lot to where it, it annoys me. Um, but there's ways to fix that, but it doesn't really bother me. Um, so yeah, I mean, but, but I mean, when you lock, when, when this thing is on there, when this thing is on there, no, no wobble, none. Uh, so it really doesn't feel like this is attached to this hinge and then this hinge is attached to this uh adapter it feels like it's one whole solid piece and that's really what the uh, sig mcx lower is this this piece this piece on the on the sig mcx lower is uh, just milled from one whole piece um that's it really i mean it's got a different a different shape to it back here but essentially every everything else inside the damn thing is the same exactly uh you know, I put a EOTech on there. I like EOTech. Uh, EOTech had a buyback a couple years ago, but that really didn't bother me. Uh, apparently, I guess they were having issues with their optics in extreme cold and uh, ridiculous heat. But uh, I, I doubt I'll ever be exposed to any of that, so I went ahead and just kept it. Uh, and what I mean by ridiculous heat, I want to say it was like, you know over 150 degrees and you know however many below zeros and shit so uh i live in texas uh, doesn't get too cold here and and there's there's hotter places to live than texas so i'll be all right um other than that i mean the site you know does what it's supposed to do uh, i still think eotech is uh is a good 
is a good brand. Um, triggers, I usually don't do much with my triggers. I usually just keep them, uh, keep those uh, stock. You know, I used to keep a stock on my uh, stock triggers and my ARs. I haven't really changed them out. Uh, for what I'm doing, I'm, I'm not doing any, you know, precision shooting with an AR-15. I got, I got, I got some stuff that I, I, I usually, uh, if I'm going for precision, I, I got some other stuff I'll show you later that uh, I, uh, I use for that. Um, but yeah, man, I really like this gun. Uh, I've learned to love it actually like I said uh, I like to put the K2 grip on there K2 just feels better you know I like the I like the angle of it uh, plan on taking this out the uh, charging handle but uh, this one doesn't seem seem uh, this one doesn't seem cheap at all it uh, seems pretty good actually and usually I switch out every single uh, charging handle to you know uh, Either a BCM or a Raptor charging handles, uh, um, but this one this one feels pretty feels pretty good, you know. I got a I got enough experience with those other charging handles to to tell that this one uh, is actually not a piece of shit. Um, it's pretty good, so I kept it in there. Um, I mean, what else is there to say about this gun, really? Uh, I can't stand this right here can't stand the way that looks uh can't stand the way it feels it feels like you're holding on to a fucking cheese grater and uh we could probably buy some rail covers and you know fill in this key mod section but still you all your grip down here is you know all the grip is in your palm down here and it just feels like shit you know i mean i'm, I'm i mean i know it doesn't kick enough to where you know, you're gonna feel that but it feels like shit um and i'll, I'll get into this a little more later um but uh other than that i mean i think it's a sweet ass gun tell you the truth like i said I, i've learned to love it and uh it's one of my favorites it's my go-to actually um you know a lot of shit on here is uh a lot of here a lot of shit on here is easily swapped out you know if something wears out i mean let me see kind of hard to do this on fucking camera but but, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and just open it up so I can show you better. Okay. This is how the, uh, this is how the adapter goes on. I guess it screws on. I guess it screws on. This is the adapter part right here. Yeah, it screws on. Uh, so I guess once you screw it on, I guess for extra support, I guess it bolts. Puts a, they put a bolt in the inside there. Put a little uh, recoil pad buffer, which, yeah, that sucker's pretty it's pretty stiff so I'm not sure if that's what that's for but uh, I mean since it doesn't have a buffer tube nothing nothing sinks inside the uh, inside here uh, this is what the uh, bolt and bolt carrier look like I think it's I think it's the, the regular uh, bolt the carrier is just way shorter I guess they you know they did away with the uh, huge spring back here the buffer buffer tube spring and all that and uh, did away with even the buffer uh, and uh, just put dual springs on top of it this is a uh, this is a second generation uh, by the way and you can tell because of uh, this piece right here your first generation has a uh, like a dovetail cutout where this slides into and this one's got something completely different I don't even know what they call it but uh, that's one way you can tell from the first gen to the second gen uh, a lot of people recommend getting the second gen they were having a lot of problems with the uh, with the first generations with this piece being inside the dovetail and uh, this is a part this is a part where uh, 
I guess where your piston, because this is a piston gun. Um, this is the part where the piston pushes this back. Yeah. So this would be supported into the back of the gun over here. Your piston would push this back. You cycle some rounds. Uh, don't understand why they made this plastic. I don't, I don't feel like that should be plastic. I mean, I guess maybe it doesn't have really... I guess it's not a real high stress area, so there was no need for it. But uh, there's companies out there that'll that'll uh, that'll uh, sell you a uh, an aluminum one, and they usually come they usually come with the charging handle when you uh, when you upgrade when you upgrade the charging handle, they'll usually upgrade this uh, back piece for you too. Uh, yeah, this charging handle seems to be okay. I mean, I like the way it is. I mean, it doesn't have no flex. It's just real, real solid, you know. So it doesn't have no, no flex side to side, you know. So uh, that was okay. I'm okay with that. But uh, even the uh, feed ramps are replaceable. So these are made out of steel. This is made out of steel right here. So if your feed, uh, feed lips ever wear out. Uh, you can replace this part right here. Uh, this piece also right here is replaceable. I have no idea why. I've never never heard of that thing wearing out to the point to where you would need to replace it. I mean, I don't even know anybody who really uses that too much. Um, the uh, This part right here, or the uh, latch, where your charging handle latches onto is made out of two steel pins. Which is pretty nice because uh, some of my AR-15s where this is worn down pretty bad and I'm assuming it's going to get to the point to where this latch, to where this latch, this latch right here, this latch right here isn't going to uh, hold itself on there anymore. And I'm just going to have a charging handle flopping back and forth. Um, so I'm pretty sure these made out of steel, this made out of steel is actually going to wear this uh, charging handle out so sounds cheaper it is cheaper I'm sure to buy a new charging handle than it would be to replace your upper because the uh, that little shoulder there is worn out so bad uh, your cam pin your cam pin right here this piece this piece uh, once it comes back it rotates uh, in here rotates in here and it starts to wear out this uh, this little shoulder in here so if that happens where it's worn out to where the gun is non-functional anymore you can replace that and get back in action so I mean they, they, they made this they made this with uh, you know with uh, within you know keeping keeping in mind about all the pieces they usually wear out on the upper and I guess they made them replaceable I guess it's pretty smart uh, factory site like I said uh, like I said this thing was a piece of shit so all you have to do to uh, take that off of there is uh, just remove your your front uh, takedown pin so just remove the front takedown pin and uh, loosens this up loosens up that and it slides into these grooves right here so when I took this off just you know you know it's all right maybe I'll just keep it and you know actually use it for a cheese grater because I'm not putting that thing back on uh, so I highly recommend you get a uh, Midwest Industries and I actually got this before I got this because like I said before you know I, I already know what I'm gonna do to my guns before I even have them I, I hate waiting you know so if I know I'm getting a gun and it's on its way I'm already buying accessories and all kinds of shit for it you know uh, but uh this thing so the only thing I really replaced was uh was the forward was a forward handguard and uh I put a K2 grip on there. Like I said, I like the angles of the K2 grips. Um 
so yeah so there's the other front sight uh, I put an enforce put an enforce uh, light on there I like enforce like I said I'm not doing anything you know too crazy that light should serve me well for for what I'm doing which probably mostly is just uh, shooting that paper um, but yeah so you slide it on there between those two rows oh that and uh, this sucker right here is just dirty I mean I can I can't even I can't even flex it so this this one not only does it look better but it uh, it it's uh, it feels better too uh, as far as uh... oh that's a bitch huh it's not usually this hard but when you're trying to keep it in focus uh, in frame then it becomes an issue uh, yeah so that's it it's on there and if I wanted to swap out barrels from uh, let's let's say well this is a two two three, you know loosen these two uh, these two screws right here and the barrel just slides right out. Put a new barrel in, tighten number one first and then number two, and that's it. Uh, yeah, I got this uh, Mag Point Gold Forward Grip on there. Let me know what you guys think about those. Uh, I mean, I guess it's all right, but if you think I should put something else on there, let me know. I'm not too too crazy about that one. Uh, so yeah, these these go in pretty much like uh, gangsters fuck up too. Yeah, you gotta put this in there first. Yeah, so get that going. Whoops! Here we go again. Yeah. Three pins all the way up. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, look how much more sexier that looks. This one actually has a smaller profile than this fat chunky son of a bitch right here. Yeah, so this one actually has a has a has a tighter profile. It's thinner. It's thinner. It's thinner uh, this way, and it's uh it's thinner this way too. So yeah, I like that. And I think I believe this is a 12 and a half inch. Uh, I believe it's a 12 and a half inch this one so yeah it's a little little taller not by much they have a 15 inch that you could put on here that comes all the way to the front but uh with the way the ass in looks you know i didn't want to have all this crazy heavy weight up here in the front you know so yeah i mean that's just how i like things you know keep them balanced they feel more balanced that way uh yeah i like it I like it a lot, actually. Let me know what you think, guys.